Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Tuesday, the 10th day of January, 2023. It's another healing and deliverance service and another time of great presence and great manifestations of the power of God. Today, we're looking at the topic, identifying your focus for the new year. The Bible tells us, it says, and he, trembling and astonished, said, Lord, what wilt thou have me do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. Thought for the day. One way to maximize a new beginning is identifying what God would want you to do or focus on. It has been confirmed that when God gives you the opportunity to experience a new beginning, there are new things He wants you to do. A new beginning usually comes with new privileges and opportunities. For example, when God gives you the opportunity to see a new day or a new week or a new month or a new year, He's giving you new privileges or opportunities to experience greater heights in life. So, one way to maximize a new beginning is identifying what God would want you to do or focus on. Beloved, in this new year, God wants you to identify what He would want you to do or focus on more. You must have set your visions for the year, but you need to ask God, Lord, is there anything else you want me to pay attention to this year? What will you have me do, O Lord? What do you want me to do or emphasize on? This was the question that Paul the Apostle asked the Lord on the road to Damascus. In Acts chapter 9 verse 6, he said, He asked, he said, Lord, what will you have me do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told you what thou must do. Beloved, God has something to say to you, and you need to listen and pay close attention to what he wants to tell you. Praise the Lord. Do you remember that song we used to sing when we were children? God has something to say. God has something to say. Listen, listen, pay close attention, for God has something to say. It was a song we used to sing as children, at devotion, and you know, then another person would read a Bible passage or recite a Bible passage. But in our daily lives, we need to depend on God to tell us what he wants us to know. The truth is, God is always speaking, but we do not always hear what he's saying. Our counsel is, make up your mind to listen to what God is saying to you in this new year, 2023. And remember this, one way to maximize a new beginning is identifying what God would want you to do or focus on. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment today? Number one, refuse to make any moves this year without divine direction. And number two, ask God to show you what he wants you to do or focus on in this new year, 2023. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say, Lord, I ask that you deliver me from a lifestyle of visionlessness and directionlessness. Show me what you what to do or what to focus on this year that will take me further in life and destiny in Jesus name. Praise the Lord. I'm excited and I know that God has heard us today and is moving you forward in Jesus name. Before I close, I'd like to pray for two categories of people and you might fall into both categories. Someone who wants to make their ways right with Jesus. You want him to forgive you your sins, to come into your life and be the Lord of your life. Simply pray this after me. Say, Jesus, I need you desperately in my life. Forgive me all my sins. Come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Make me a new person in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. And the second category of people I'll be praying for, someone whose birthday it is today. I wish you a happy birthday. As your days are, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. 
in Jesus' name. Happy birthday. Have a wonderful day in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Well, let's look at a quote today from 15 Kingdom Strategies by God's servant. It says, you cannot bury him in the immediate if he is focused on the ultimate. 15 Kingdom Strategies for Survival by Dr. Pastor Paul Enenchen. We are reading Genesis 46 to Genesis 50 today. We are already through with the first book of the Bible, the book of Genesis, and you can't remain the same. I'm sure you've gleaned out revelations and insights from what you've read, and you are blessed.